Hey, it's Clay, CPAPMyWay, CPAPMyWay.com. Today I'm here to discuss the patient level menu on the AirSense 11 CPAP from ResMed. So this is gonna be the settings that, um, as a user of the CPAP, you have access to. And um, I'll show you how to access them, what each particular uh, selection means, how to adjust them to account for certain things. And uh, hopefully you find the information helpful. If you do, we really appreciate the thumbs up. You want more info, subscribe. And if you have anything you'd like explained more thoroughly or input that you'd like to help others, it's a community event here. Throw it in the comments below. That way everybody can kind of learn together here. And I'm happy to reply and help in any way that I can there as well. So let's jump right in. All right. So when you've got your machine plugged in here, you may notice that it's dark to start with. To wake up the machine, just touch the screen. You'll see the options pop up. You're going to see three things. My options, my sleep view, and more. We're going to start off with my options. So press the little blue icon there. The first thing you're going to see is ramp time. So we'll jump in there first. Touch ramp time and you will see your setting options. You can go as low as off, auto, which will allow the machine to monitor your breath rate and increase pressure to the therapy pressure as you fall into that sleep pattern of breathing. Uh, we, uh, we really like that auto feature. A lot of people do really well on that. If you want a manual adjustment, you can go anywhere from five to 45 minutes. And that's the period of time it will take from, for the machine to go from your ramp starting pressure to your therapy pressure. Uh, if you're new to CPAP, a lot of times a full 45 minutes will be nice or the auto mode. I kind of recommend at least starting an auto and seeing if it works well. If you're an old school CPAP user and you're just accustomed to the pressure already, sometimes off is the way to go. So it just jumps straight into therapy pressure. Once you make the change, you hit okay, and you'll notice that the change takes effect on the settings there. Pressure relief, that is the uh, EPR setting. So you can turn that on or off. If you've got it on and it's blue, it will give you the exhalation relief, which is EPR. Um, it makes exhaling a little bit easier uh, on CPAP. If you want a nice steady pressure, you don't like that exhalation relief, you can turn that off. For some old school users, they like it off. For new users, the uh, exhalation relief is a nice setting. Next down here is humidity level. If you do not have a climate tube attached, if you do not have the climate tube attached, uh, you'll, you'll notice just humidity level of four here. If you have your climate line attached, which is uh, you know, the climate line here, I'm gonna plug that in for you. You'll notice a little bit more settings, right? So I'm gonna go through that and then I'm gonna unplug it and show you just the regular humidity since that's a simpler deal, right? But um, you'll see now climate control and then if you scroll down tube temp, we'll start in climate control. Um, I really recommend most people start in auto. It's just, if you can let the machine work for you, that's a great deal, especially if it's doing a good job. But if you're not getting the uh, results you want in auto mode, um, you can click manual and hit okay. And then it'll allow you to adjust both the tube temperature and the humidity level. So humidity level is a good place to start. You can go as low as off or as high as eight. If you need more humidity, increase it. I would recommend increasing one setting at a time so that you don't overdo it and then hit okay. Additionally, if you're noticing any kind of rain out or uh, excess condensation in the tube, you may wanna increase your tube temp a little bit um, to account for that. The same goes in return. If you wanted to take the temperature down a little bit, take it down slowly, right? So a setting or two at a time, and the same with your humidity. If you're getting too much humidity, take it down a notch um, and then hit OK. If you do not have it in manual mode and you just leave it in auto mode, you will notice the tube temp is at auto with your climate control as, as auto. You can manually address the tube temperature while it's in auto mode, but you will not be able to address the humidity setting because it's doing that automatically. Now, if we were to remove the climate tube, you go back to just a standard humidity level and you can go as low as off or as high as eight. If you're running it without water in the chamber, turn it off. Or if you just you know want cool pass over in the least amount of humidity, leave it off. Um, if you're experiencing any dryness, turn it up a notch. If you're experiencing excess condensation, go down a notch. Most people do pretty well between four and five. Um, it's a good place to be, all right? Scrolling on down, you'll see your mask settings. So you've got three options, just like anything else. You got nasal, full face, and pillows. Whatever mask you're using, make sure you put that in there for yourself, right? 
tube is going to be slim line unless we had the actual climate line tube attached. If your climate line of tube is attached, you should notice that that goes away, right? Because you're not going to be able to change the tube because it knows what tube's connected. When you have it disconnected, you can pick between slimline or standard. Standard would be a 22 millimeter tube. Slimline is the 15 millimeter tube. Most people are getting a slimline as uh, uh, the standard option with the uh, with the AirSense 11 here. Next is your options here. Smart Start, that allows the machine to start on its own when you start breathing on the mask. And Smart Start does the exact opposite. When you stop uh, using the CPAP, take the mask off, it'll turn itself off. If you want those automatic features to be disabled, turn them off. If you would like the machine to turn on and off by itself, turn it on. If you've had issues where you have high leaks at times and the machine turns itself off, sometimes you want to disable the smart stop, okay? Most people do pretty well with leaving them both turned on. All right, that's it on your My Options. In your My Sleep Review, you will see your usage, events, and mask selections here. If you don't see the events, um, I'm gonna put a link to the other video that'll help explain how to turn that on. Um, you're, you're in the simple view if that's the case. In here, you'll be able to see your usage information, uh, your leak, apnea, hypopnea index, uh, obstructive apnea, central apnea, all those kind of things. All right, if you click on more here, you'll see a uh, warm up that'll preheat your water for you if you like. You see mask fit where you can actually check your mask fit, right? Press start. It'll tell you how your mask is sealing. Oh, not so good at the moment. Obviously, we don't have a mask on, but if you get your mask on correctly, it'll give you a, a good or a bad fit, and you can adjust the mask. And then you can jump into some information. Sorry about the My Air app. Airplane mode would disable the modem inside so that uh, if you were using it on an airplane, you obviously would want to do that. But additionally, if you don't want this to automatically relay your information, you would want to turn the airplane mode on. If you turn airplane mode on, nobody will have access to this machine. So if you need compliance reporting, you definitely want to leave this off because your supplier is going to need to take care of that, right? It's going to run a diagnostic daily. Uh, you can change that. I don't know really why you'd want to. Sorry. All right, humidifier is enabled. And then this just gives you information about your uh, device and hours and all that good stuff. Okay. At any time, you can always press the home button if you're lost in here and it'll take you back to the main screen. But that's about it. And again, just for record, if you don't see the detailed sleep view in the My Sleep view, uh, we got a good video. I'll link that in the uh, description below for you. So that's it. Thanks for watching.